On Bishop Barra's YouTube channel, you will find exclusive content to uplift your faith. The Word of Faith with Bishop Macedo. Live meetings from Bishop Barra Fonseca. Testimonies, thoughtful advice, prayers, and much more. Do you like it? Then subscribe today and share the videos on your social network. You are listening now to A Word of Faith with Bishop Macedo. Hello, my friends. May God bless each and every one of you, making each and every one of you the fountain itself, the fountain of peace, of happiness, the fountain of life, the fountain of the image of His Spirit, the fountain that makes flow for everyone who is around you. This is the will of God for each and every one of you. Do you want to know the will of God for your life? It's for you to be the blessing. Instead of seeking here and there, He wants you to be the blessing itself. This is the plan, God's objective for your life. And this is why the Lord Jesus says, on the last day of the Feast of the Tabernacles, he says like this, he stood, he took position to cry out in a loud voice, saying, if anyone thirsts, if anyone thirsts, let him come to me and drink. Do you see that there are many people that they will say, I'm thirsty. I'm thirsty to drink some water, just a little bit, so that I can renew my strength, so that I can wet my tongue because I can't take it anymore. They've been living a life of suffering. You who are listening don't know what to do anymore. And even worse, no money solves your problem, isn't it? Tell us the truth. For example, you have a big emptiness inside of you. You have a sadness that you cannot take anymore. And you think like this. Is there anyone that can understand what I'm feeling? Is there anyone that can understand my pain that is not in my body? Because if it was in my body, there was a way. But because it's inside of my soul, I am living days that I cannot take. Well, my friend, you that are living in this suffering, in this pain, in this anguish for a long time, and you don't see any perspective of things getting better, Jesus says, if anyone thirsts, if anyone thirsts, and he says this in a day of a feast, the last day. How can someone who say this in the last day of a feast, those who are in a feast, they're happy, supposedly. But they weren't. Because Jesus knew that among all those who were in the feast, many who are thirsty like you the way you are listening to me right now. You got married to quiet 
this void you have in your chest. You got married to have a little bit of peace with someone or to divide your pain with somebody. But it has not brought the solution. You get money, you are successful, but money for you is paper. Paper. And that's it. Because it doesn't solve. Travels, vacations, you know, the best of the best, family, relatives, absolutely none of these things bring you peace. And maybe you say, so I'm going to drink. I'm going to drink as much as I can to shut off the memories that I have. And you drink, and when you return, you continue suffering even worse. You become more depressed. So pay attention. Starting this Sunday, we will have a campaign of faith, a campaign of faith for all those, for Catholics, for Spiritists, Jews, Muslims, evangelicals, and even those who don't have a religion. This campaign is to cry out. It's a campaign specifically for those who are thirsty. For something that they don't know. And maybe you say, I don't know what's going on with me. I have, I have been the sadness itself. In my eyes, I don't see color. I see the world black and white. My friend, starting this Sunday, we're going to have the beginning of 21 days of complete fasting, not of food and not of drinking, but the fast of circular information and entertainment. You know that in this pandemic, who is enjoying themselves? So, obviously, you are going to leave behind all kinds of information and you are going to dive your mind in the promise of the Lord Jesus. That said, if anyone thirsts, let him come to me. Maybe you're thirsty and you don't even know what you're thirsty for. So you are going to be 21 days in this fast of information, circular information, of whatever entertainment, you're going to dive in this fast to abstain from all circular information and entertainment so that you may live so that you may dive your thoughts, dive your thoughts in the Word of God. You are going to read what is written because the Word of God is the water, is the vivid water that quenches the thirst of the soul. You're not going to find this Word anywhere when you dive in to the thoughts of God. Jesus wants to make his spirit, the same spirit that resurrected him from the dead, to resurrect you. Starting this Sunday, throughout 21 days, 21 days, it's not for everyone, it's not for anybody, it's those, for those who are thirsty. And you can begin to prepare yourself for Sunday on Friday. On Friday, we are going to have a special meeting. We have special meetings in all the universal churches, the kingdom of God. It's meetings 
são serviços espirituais para fechamento de close de corpo. Porque your spiritual body, because maybe you are a person that your body is open. And because of that, you caught this virus that is worse than any other virus and made you suffer up until today. So, on Friday, the great day of deliverance, spiritual deliverance, and closing you from all evil and if you want to participate it's free and you're going to receive the prayers of faith on Friday in all the universal churches the kingdom of God the more 